The following presentation is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice. If you have questions about this topic, please contact the Office of the Property Rights Ombudsman. This presentation briefly discusses issues concerning land use and development and how the Office of the Property Rights Ombudsman may assist property owners. The right to use and enjoy property is an important aspect of land ownership. Real property is a significant investment, and landowners should be able to develop property in a productive or desirable manner. All property and all property uses are subject to reasonable regulation, including zoning regulation by a local government. Such regulation promotes important government objectives, including the health, safety, and welfare of the general public. The laws and processes of land use and development are far too complex for this brief discussion. What follows is an introduction to some of the issues commonly faced by developers. Please understand that these descriptions are very basic and very simplified, and any questions should be directed to the Ombudsman. Local governments must comply with their own statutes as well as state and federal laws. In other words, a local government cannot make up the rules of the game. Any requirements on new development must be found in a law or stated in the approvals given. Development applications should be processed and decisions made within a reasonable time. If there has been no action after a reasonable time, an applicant may request that a local government make its decision within 45 days. In Utah, the Vested Rights Rule provides that a developer may expect approval if a land use application complies with the zoning requirements in place on the date the application is submitted. Put simply, vested rights means that the zoning rules cannot be changed in the middle of the game. Exactions are required contributions imposed as conditions of development approval, including construction of public improvements, dedication of land, or payment of money. Local governments may require exactions if there is an essential link between each exaction and a legitimate government interest, and if each exaction is roughly proportional to the impact created by the new development. Impact fees are intended to provide for the expansion of public facilities made necessary because of new development. Impact fees are a type of exaction, and each fee must comply with the Impact Fee Act found in the Utah Code. In addition, local governments often charge application fees. These fees must be based on the reasonable cost to process and evaluate the development application. State law governs all subdivisions of land. In most cases, subdivisions must be approved by a local government. It is important to obtain all approvals because a subdivision without proper approval is void. Property owners should consult with their local governments to determine what approvals are necessary. Land use decisions may be appealed by any interested party. The appeal process depends upon the type of decision, local ordinance, and state law. In most cases, the time frame for appeals is very short, and the correct process must be followed or the appeal will be dismissed. Please contact the Ombudsman to discuss your appeal rights. The Office of the Property Rights Ombudsman may advise property owners and local governments on the laws pertaining to land use and development. The Office may also assist by facilitating negotiation between developers and local governments. And finally, the Office may prepare advisory opinions analyzing specific land use questions. If you have any questions about the laws and processes governing land use and development, please contact the Office of the Property Rights Ombudsman.